breasts, boobs, boobies, tits, mammary glands, melons, tatas, or as my husband now refers to them as Ryu's life source. In this video, I wanna tell you about my experience with my breasts as it pertains to the journey of getting pregnant and now breastfeeding for the past seven months. So let's talk about breast tenderness, breast enlargement, nipple darkening, areola bumpiness, rock hard tatas, breastfeeding for the first time, cracked nipples, milk coming in, milk drying out, breast pumps, breast lumps, the taste of breast milk, the curious way that breast milk comes in. And then I wanna end things off with a short and sweet love note to my boobs. Yes, we're gonna cover all of this in one video. And speaking of cover, if you wanna cover your boobs in some incredible lingerie, loungewear, and workout attire, check out Savage X Fenty. Now I'm a Savage X Fenty ambassador, and furthermore, I'm an extra VIP member. And as an extra VIP member, you can get 50% off your first extra VIP order, plus two bras slash bralettes for $29, plus everything is priced under 50 bucks. They have hundreds of styles, and they are expanding their sizes all of the time to ensure their commitment to making sexy clothes for everybody. As an extra VIP member, you'll save 25% off every style every day, plus free shipping on orders over $49. If you've been considering them, please show me some love and use the link located in the info box to check them out. And lastly, all bras that I'm wearing in this video are from Savage X Fenty. Speaking of this video, let's get back to it. Breast tenderness. The first sign of pregnancy that I got was breast tenderness. Now, in full disclosure, I have what I would refer to as painful ass boobs, meaning that even before I was pregnant, my boobs would often be uncomfortable and depending on the time of month, straight up painful to the touch. Now I've had my breasts checked out by a specialist, so I know there's no larger health concern there, but I've always had to be mindful of them. Now, when I got pregnant, Oh my gosh, especially in the first trimester, the discomfort was on a whole other level. I'm talking a strong breeze would have me doubled over. And so I went from barely wearing bras to wearing two bras at a time, all the time. Breast enlargement. If you follow me on Instagram, you are aware of the fact that I haven't been shy about this. As somebody who had really modest boobs before, I have been loving the boost in boobage that I've gotten over the past 19 months. To give you an idea of how much bigger my breasts have gotten, before pregnancy, I could neatly fit an entire boob inside of one hand. And now, nipple darkening. Another perk that I've been so happy about is the change of color in my nipples and areola. They used to be light brown, basically tan, but after six months of pregnancy, they transformed to this really rich and radiant dark brown. Now, since then, thanks to the baby who has pulverized them, which we'll get into later on in the video, the nipple itself is now a bright pink, the areola is still a beautiful brown, and my boobs are pale, which basically makes my breasts a tub of Neapolitan ice cream. Areola bumpiness. Now I've been had bumpy nipples. I remember for myself, watching 40 year old virgin years ago and they were talking about nipples and the guy was like well what were they were they big were they braille nipples and the guy was like what's braille nipples he's like braille like the ones that have the bumps so you can read on them and i was like oh my gosh i have braille nipples and it was a funny moment but actually a really healing moment for me to know that there was a common theme with that, that there were other people in the world who had this thing on me that I felt made my breasts unpretty or unattractive. Medically speaking, I've been had Montgomery's tubercles, a type of oil producing gland people have on their areola that appear as small bumps. These glands are protective because they produce oil that keep the nipples soft and protects against infection, which is especially important during pregnancy and of course, breastfeeding which maybe is why I've gotten double the amount since then. Breastfeeding for the first time. Now, because I have painful ass boobs, I had a lot of fear around what breastfeeding would be like for me. And honestly, the first time that Ryu latched and I knew that my body was capable of feeding another body that existed in this world, I thought to myself, wow, all that worrying about the pain of breastfeeding, it turns out that I was exactly right. Breastfeeding, Hurts, and yes, I tried lactation specialists and nipple guards and meditation and it still hurts. What does it feel like? When the baby first latches on, there's like a shooting pain that goes down my spine and into my legs, followed by the ache of the milk coming down and then eventually your breasts go numb. And then that's the good news. I go through this six times a day, every day, for the past seven months, and I'm still going. The way that breast milk comes out. 
Personally, I had zero clue about this one. And to be honest, I don't think I ever truly thought about how does milk come out? Because like you, I've seen it happen on cows and that omnidirectional flow just seems to make perfect sense. But the real truth, my real truth is, my milk comes out like a carnival game. I also did not know that the boob takes a while to turn on. So you know when you run the water in the shower for it to get warm first? Well, the boobs like that. So the baby has to suck on dry skin for like a minute before my milk lets down. And then, like I said, it's Wild Water Kingdom. Rock hard tatas. I watched a video where Shay Mitchell said the one thing that she wished she knew about childbirth is how painful it is when the milk comes in. I don't know if you've ever heard of engorgement. What, is that when your boobs get really hard, like the, this rock? That's when your milk comes in and that, yep, feels is like it, rocks. So feels like pebbles, hard rocks, just, Painful, it's painful. But thankfully, it's only really bad for like a week and then you get a couple of days off and then you get cracked nipples. Cracked nipples, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's when the nipple is so exhausted from being irritated and pressed that it cracks, bleeds, and scabs. But hey, the good news is the body heals. And furthermore, you can do things to help yourself heal along, like use ointments, or for me, I took a break from breastfeeding and exclusively pumped during this time. One of many breaks I actually taken from breastfeeding and gone to pumping instead. For example, right now, I'm also on a break from breastfeeding because Ryu has two bottom teeth coming in and still zero knowledge and understanding that my breasts are attached to my body. Milk supply. I don't have any secret for this, but I do know that I have a great milk supply. And furthermore, I am so impressed by how my body adjusts to the demands of the baby. I pump eight ounces a day every four hours, but if I pumped every three hours, I can get an extra eight ounces, which allows me to freeze a bag a day. I honestly can't gush enough about how proud I am of my body for doing such a top-notch job of providing milk for Ryu. You go girls. Breast pumps. I'm gonna touch on this very quickly and just say that the LV breast pump is a product that if I was asked to sell on the side of the highway, I would do it. These pumps are everything. And once you find your own flow and rhythm with them, the taste of breast milk. I feel pretty passionate about this one because prior to having my own breast milk, I'd only ever seen people make fun of adults for drinking it, which made me feel like it tasted disgusting. But the truth is, it's delicious. It's sweet, it's light, it doesn't have an aftertaste. And furthermore, I'm really, really proud of my brand. And I'll gladly let anybody who has given informed consent because they are consuming a bodily fluid of mine, give my breast milk a try. If you came over, I promise you, I would let you try it. I'm excited! Zoom in! It's warm. Wow, it tastes like cereal milk. Yo, you know the milk after your cereal's done? That's literally what it tastes like. Is this what you taste like? Yeah. <laughs> wow. In closing, I just want to say thank you, Breasts, from myself and Ryu. You want to say thank you as well, too? Thank you so much for providing an experience, for providing life, for providing joy, for making tank tops look incredible for the past year plus, um, and just for being here for me. For giving me something to talk about, for nothing else. Even when it's been painful, it's been a ride, it's been a joy, and I'm very grateful for you. I'm more grateful for you than I probably have been in my entire life. And lastly, if you liked any of the bras that you saw me rocking in this video, no, that's only a fraction of the styles and colors that Savage X Fenty has available. So go down to the info box, click the link and look around. And if you see something that you want to grab, sign up for free to the extra VIP program so that you can get two bras for $29 plus half off your entire first order. You convinced? Yeah? You clicking the link? Oh, she's biting my chin. That's why, that's why we can't breastfeed, right? That's exactly why. Girl, how you scratch my card and can't talk? Just pick up the phone and say you fucked up. Losing all control, you got my stress up. Lighting up your tone, it's time you rest up. I know I'm a fuck boy. Am I still a